Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for March 24th, 2022. Hope everybody is doing well. Thank you so much to all of the new subscribers to the channel and for boosting up the numbers. We have reached well over 2.5, 2.5 million views for this channel, you guys. It's amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Let's see what's going on with your specific person and or any additional messages from your trusted ancestors, your spirit guides, and your guardian angels, okay? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Okay, rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number eight. Some of you were dealing with a Leo and or a Virgo throughout the month of August. We definitely could see the strength card. However, I'm also distinctively seeing in my mind's eye the eight of wands and the eight of swords. Power of number nine. Some of you were dealing with a Virgo and or a Libra throughout the month of of September. Hermit card. Some of you could be keeping quiet to yourselves right now, Scorpio, or this could be your specific person, or you're taking on some kind of plans or actions behind the scenes or keeping things under the radar right now. Okay. I am picking up on the nine of swords and also the nine of cups. Power of number eight. Again, you may want to Google the angel number 898 as an additional spiritual message for this reading today, okay? So, looks like we are going to the power of number 25. Number 25, we could also see... The High Priestess card kick in. I am picking up on the Two of Cups, Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. And seeing all the twos. Two, 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 two. Power of number five. Picking up on the Five of Cups, the Hierophant. Some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus and or a Gemini throughout the month of May. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces throughout the month of February. Picking up definitely on the Five of Swords. Somebody feels like they're in competition or this specific person puts you in competition with another third party, possibly. This person could also be worried about argumentative energy with you when they make their return back to you, Scorpio. Okay. Power of number 25. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers in regards to Scorpio's specific person and or any additional information at this time that Scorpio needs to know what is currently going on with the overall energies again for the day commencing for March 24th of 2022 please. Mm, somebody's gearing up to walk away maybe you're gearing up to walk away from something or someone 
in particular, Scorpio, or this is your specific person, your specific person could have walked away from a third party situation eight days ago, or it could be eight days from now for some of them. Mm. They could have walked away during the full moon in the sign of Virgo because we have a full moon here. Okay, let's see what this Eight of Cups is all about because usually this is when somebody is off to seek their over the rainbow moment. Some of you recently walked away from family members or a particular group of friends. What is the Eight of Cups, please? Mm, five of Cups. Somebody's got guilt, remorse, regret. Which means there was a judgment call. Interesting. There was a massive major tower moment. Could have happened on March 16th for some of these specific partners of yours. Wow. Somebody's not wasting time to walk away from something in particular. I still feel like the cards are adding a little bit of mystery to this reading right now. How far does this guilt, remorse, regret go? Is this you, Scorpio? Is this your specific person? Are these family members? Um, somebody here is going to try to reach out to you, Scorpio, in the next four minutes or four hours, four days, or possibly the fourth hour of a particular day or four months out from this point forward for some of you. Let's see what this guilt, remorse, regret is. There's a lot of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy going on and Aries energy coming in through the tower. Somebody's spying in on you or they have been spying in on you or they if they're spying in on you still up to this point, they have a lot of guilt, remorse, regret for walking away from you before in the past, Scorpio. But then again, you kind of already intuitively know that. That's it from the Page of Swords. Oh, rapid fire communication. Some of you guys could be getting information in an eight in the eight o'clock hour of a particular day, or you may have found out there was a breakup. Something was not built on a solid foundation. High priestess, things that are hidden behind the scenes. Your person's first and or last name could start with the letter B or the letter J for some of you. Could be dealing again with a Pisces or an Aquarius. Does not have to be. I've got Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio so far. Mm. What is this Eight of Wands rapid fire communication? Mm. Fire sign activity going on. Somebody here wants to reach out and tell you that they want to have a new beginning, but I feel like this person is very uncertain. They're nervous. They're nervous to reach out and communicate. That's what I'm picking up on. Yeah, communication, page of wands, bottom of the deck. What is this new beginning here for Scorpio? King of Swords, somebody got some mental clarity. Or somebody got cut out of an equation. You could be dating somebody who is in law enforcement be dating a lawyer or a judge for some of you or you could have gotten tailwind about somebody who is battling a court situation yeah look at that libra energy bottom of the deck court situation okay So it's from the King of Swords. Somebody here is daydreaming about you, Scorpio, to plant new seeds with you or to start over from scratch. Show me how deep this guilt, remorse, regret goes. How, how deep does it go? Yeah, they're in guilt, remorse, regret because they didn't bring you that long-term commitment. Oh, baby. Yeah, because they were dealing with a karmic. This person, you could find out that they went through a divorce or the divorce got finalized for some of them. Who is this Queen of Swords? Somebody who is single now. I'm picking up third party. Show me the Knight of Pentacles.
Got Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy on the board. Yeah, somebody went through a breakup, you guys. It already happened for some of them. It already happened, and a lot of you haven't found out about it yet because some of it has been secretive energy. Show me the Three of Swords. Show me this breakup. Hermit, Virgo, I, Virgo, Libra energy. Could be dealing straight up with the Virgo or a Libra. It does not have to be, but yeah, the, 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 something happened here behind the scenes. This could be another group of divine masculines or divine feminines that you're dealing with. It's like another round, another round of breakups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody got cut out. Knight of Swords. Now they're going to be racing in to make communication. Page of Wands, okay. To bring in the truth. Or somebody's going to tell you that so-and-so got divorced or it's finalized or you're going to hear it straight up from the horse's mouth. Or they're not in a long-term partnership anymore. Hanged man, they're waiting for the right time to reach out to you. Piscean energy. This could have happened during Pisces uh, time frame. That this breakup happened. Could have been even three days ago or it could take three more days. Show me the hanged man. Could have happened on March 12th for some of them. Yeah, see, they're planning now. A lot of them are planning how to come forward and to reconcile with you. Person from the past again. Mm-hmm. They're I said they're coming forward to communicate. Wow, this justice card, this is the third time on the bottom of the deck the justice card is here. There is some major truth that is headed in your direction, Scorpio. And this person, again, wants to reach out. They want to ask you out. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo straight up. They want to have teamwork, collaboration, three of pentacles. This could be somebody that you were also uh, possibly dating in the work environment, Scorpio, for some of you. But listen, they're serious. They're, they're headed towards commitment right now and reconciliation with you. I feel like this is another round or another group of divine masculines and divine feminines. What is this energetic, passionate communication about? Yeah, that they're going to tell you that they moved on and that they want to move forward with you. Yeah, as soon as possible. King of Pentacles, they're coming in like a king. Their communication is going to start off small, and I feel like it's going to work its way up. Because this is about talking about the future, but they've had in the past a lot of guilt, remorse, regret for not giving you that commitment. Now they're coming in. They're going to find the courage and the strength to come forward. Leo, Virgo energy going on. Taurus and Gemini energy going on. The Hierophant, I did say that. A lot of you guys are, wow, all the major freaking arcanas. Chariot, Leo, Cancerian energy, Knight of Cups. Oh, yeah, this person's really serious. And not only that, they kicked this other person's ass to the curb or the karmic kicked their ass to the curb. Doesn't matter who kicked who. The bottom line is somebody's feeling left out in the cold. And, yeah, okay. Message from the King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. They are strategizing behind the scenes, Seven of Swords. And they also could have found out, that, again, that this karmic got caught. Or your karmic caught your person with somebody else before they're getting ready to reach out to you. It don't matter. But I feel that this is more strategizing. They're strategizing. It's, it's because of the Six of Cups. It's because of the Six of Cups and the Page of Wands. Figuring out, and of course, they're in suspension. They're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. I know, it sucks. But, rather have this person come forward the right way. You just keep moving on, Scorpio. You keep moving, keep moving on. Keep moving on. Keep doing your thing, okay? Keep getting your groove back. Because this person's already picking up, I feel, on some kind of, like, vibrational frequency. Show me the Seven of Swords. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're strategizing on how to get this over the rainbow moment because they know that you walked away from them because they gave you no choice but to walk away from them because they were all in their ego. They went to go be with a third party. Whatever the circumstances were, and some of you guys did indeed walk away from family in the month of March of 2022, or you're gearing up to walk away from some toxic family members or lying, deceptive uh, family members as well. Mm -hmm. And not looking back. Message from the tower. You got a, I just heard Spirit say you got a lot of jealous family members, Scorpio. Ooh. Mm-hmm. As soon as this tower comes crumbling down, or for some of them, the tower has come crumbling down, now they're going to make their way forward. Page of Pentacles. What are they going to offer Scorpio, please? For those that haven't heard from their specific person, what are they going to offer Scorpio that's tangible? What are you, what are they, more, okay, we're, look at, look at, unexpectedly, out of nowhere, the tower card. What you do not see coming, this person is bringing in major commitment. This is, this I feel is like another round of divine masculines and divine feminines. So if you're Divine Masculine Scorpio, you're waiting for your Divine Feminine to return. And you, Divine Masculine Scorpio, could end up being the one, once your Divine Feminine comes forward, then you then it's like you will reward this person. And you'll know. My, my Divine Masculine Scorpios, listen, you're going to know if your Divine Feminine is being real and honest with you, okay? But for others of you, Divine Feminine, waiting for your Divine Masculine, okay. Yeah, they're, they're behind the scenes. I feel like this goes back to the information about that hidden engagement ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's, show me, show me the Ace of Pentacles here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius, they're passionate about you. Yeah, I think it has to do with that hidden engagement ring. Lover's card on the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups coming together. High Priestess, hidden. I feel like this person either drives by your house or they're trying to figure out where you live, Scorpio. In case if you moved by chance, some of you are gearing up to move. During Aries season, some of you guys found a new apartment or a new condo. A lot of you are still looking on the housing market. Uh, some of you will be moving, though, also, too, and picking up in the month of June and July. But mostly I saw June. A lot of you do not want to move when it is exceptionally hot outside. You don't want to be moving in the, in the sweltering heat. That's what I'm picking up. I'm picking up on the rain in the month of April. I'm picking up a lot of rain. I can hear the rain. I can hear the rain coming down. It's like I can see the mud. I can see the mud on the ground. I'm seeing like a precursor energy to the violet. Because like violets and dandelions have a tendency to kind of grow side by side every now and then. Or the the dandelions will eventually come up, but you can find like violets, little baby violets. What is this message from the King of Wands that's so passionate about Scorpio? Some of you guys are going to be getting a marriage proposal very soon. For some of you guys, we'll get a marriage proposal in the month of May of 2022 during Taurus and Gemini season. 
This person unexpectedly is bringing in commitment. They're so lost without you, Scorpio. Nine of Swords. Mm. They know you're the one. Yeah, they're making plans. They're making big, 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 big plans. They're trying to figure out where they're going to take you. Again, some of you guys are dealing straight up with Leos. The Sun card, summertime process. Like I said, you guys probably don't want to move in the heat of the summertime, wherever it is that you live. But I was picking up on the month of June. Yeah, possibly getting married in a chapel. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, getting married. Marriage, marriage, marriage. Emperor energy. Aries, Taurus. Uh, Aries and Taurus season. We're in Aries season right now. Mm -hmm. Show me this energy of the Eight of Cups. Whatever you walked away from before Scorpio in the past, you're going to be walking right back into for some of you with this specific person. Others of you have moved on entirely from this specific person, but also moving into a new house, new soulmate, or you're walking away from toxic friends and family that no longer serve your highest purpose, and you're going into somebody else's family. You know what I mean? Or you're building up a soul tribe, a soul family. But a lot of you guys are going to be getting married very soon. Also, too, possibly unexpectedly in the month of April, you could be getting engaged during Aries season. Mm-hmm. A lot of marriage. There's a lot of marriage energy either coming in from a specific person or from a new soulmate. Okay? But I also pick up that with this specific person if anybody has anything negative to say you're not going to listen to it because this person is going to show you that they changed because they're going to put in the action we've already seen in previous readings the eight of pentacles where this person's going to put in time energy action and devotion okay so unexpectedly yeah you guys are getting engaged and or proposed to or divine masculine scorpios you're going to eventually propose to your divine feminine Message from the Four of Wands, please. Yeah. Whoever, whatever is in and around your social circle, your environment, don't give any energy to the noise. If they didn't approve of this person before in the past, because a lot of people might have thought that they were a player or that you were blindsided to the truth, in the past about this person. Don't listen to the naysayers. Because there's a divine union coming in. And a new soulmate. Or if you have a new soulmate that's on the board right now. Or somebody that you're like newly interested in. Or maybe you have been starting to go out and date. And you feel like people always talk negatively about your love life. Cut them off. Cut them off because more or less they're either a hater or they're just jealous of your energy. Even if they're with somebody, they could be exceptionally miserable in a miserable marriage or a toxic relationship. And you could be that person that's their single best friend or whatever. Listen, whatever it is, whatever toxicities, if you've had family members talk about your specific person before in the past or they wanted to all get up in your business or they sabotage this relationship with you and your person. I, I have this feeling you guys are not, it's going to take a lot of willpower, but I feel like a lot of you are not going to be talking to certain family members anymore. And that's just the way, I just heard uh, Celine Dion, that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right now, Scorpio, you don't need any more stress. You don't need any more romantic stress in your life right now. But yes, this person from the past is coming back. Be prepared. Because it's going to be unexpected. And I also picked up that there's a new soulmate. New soulmate that is on the horizons that you're going to be walking into a marriage proposal with. So person from the past, marriage proposal. Person from the future or currently new. That person is going to be your future partner. Okay, so it's I'm seeing it in both directions, but this person from the past is so overwhelmed. They're absolutely so overwhelmed that they made the most unhealthiest decision to either walk away from you or give you no choice but to walk away from them. Whatever, whoever they went to, it just 
they know now that it didn't work out. And all they can think about for a lot of you is you. Why would I say that? Nine of Swords. So, Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will send you all of the proper information on how to book that reading. So until next time, my beautiful Scorpios, take care.